Arizona 2-0 for the first time in 17 years and a chance to go 3-0 to start the season for the first time since 1974. Whoa. Jason Horwitz, CBS Sports' Charlie Cassidy. Glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. The Cardinals at the Redskins, a 1 o'clock kickoff. And, Charlie, let's start with Arizona because offensively they've been very good in the first two weeks. Most points to start a season for Arizona in two weeks uh, since 1985. Are they that good or has it been the competition? Well, it's probably a little bit of both, but I like the Arizona Cardinals. I think they're a solid football team offensively and much improved defensively over the last couple of years. And Ken Wisenhunt, a no-nonsense coach, along with assistant head coach Russ Grimm, ex-Redskin, by the way, running that offensive line. So this is a solid, solid football team. A little bit of a revenge factor then going you back to Washington. You got it in this one now. <laughs> uh, but, of course, the, the, the two had monster on the outside. Anquan Bolden and Larry Fitzgerald had huge games against San Francisco. Can Washington stop them, and is that the key to beating Arizona? Well, with any time you play a good offensive football team, what you want to do is try to take away what they do best. So here you can see from the numbers last week. Now, they're not going to do this every week, but they are two big, strong physical receivers. They're not the fastest guys. So you have a combination. Jam them at the line of scrimmage, reroute them, it slows them down. The second thing is you've got to pick your time to get blitzes on Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner will give up the football under pressure. He's not the most mobile quarterback. So don't give these guys a free release and take your shots on the blitz. So then how big of a role does Jason Taylor play in this weekend's game? Well, I think he plays a, a very big role. Now, whether the, what the Redskins like to do at times is take Jason Taylor and Andre Carter, and sometimes they'll switch them. The tackles for the Arizona Cardinals, Levi Brown's the right tackle, Mike Gandy's the left tackle. The Redskins should have an advantage in one-on-one -on -one matchups in this game. Therefore, they've got to exploit them in passing situations. Well, so let's talk about the Redskins offense because in week one, it was pretty anemic. Week two, it was pretty explosive. What was the difference and which one will show up this week? Well, I think there were a number of factors that were different in it. Uh, first of all, Jason Campbell, he's more comfortable with the offense now, getting to the checkdowns. That's logical going from game one to game two. There you see his stats right there. Outstanding for the season, Six, almost 62%, hasn't thrown an interception yet. But they also had a couple other things going for him. First of all, the Saints' defense, not as good as the New York Giant defense. They're playing at home, so crowd noise was in their advantage. Now, also, Clinton Portis had more touches, and Santana Moss, their deep threat, who's a key in this game, because he gives them a mismatch against the Arizona Cardinals secondary. They got him more involved, so that's the key. Moss and Portis have to touch the ball a lot in this football game. And it's a banged-up Arizona secondary a little bit as well. Let's throw all the numbers into the computer. The AccuScore prediction for the game, 10,000 tests, 10,000 results. And there you see it, basically a toss-up. Uh, Charlie, uh, Washington has won the last six games between the two. Who do you like to win this one? I think the Redskins, and hey, I, I think it's right, 51-49, because I've been going back and forth in this game here. Arizona lost a heartbreaker to them last year. Uh, right at the end of the game, I think the Redskins at home, a slight edge here. But I would not be surprised if Arizona wins at all. All right, so you do like Washington. Washington. Seven straight against Arizona in this series. We'll see how it plays out, a 1 o'clock kickoff. And for more on this game or any other in Week 3, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else all over the CBS Audience Network. For Charlie Cassidy, I'm Jason Horwitz. Take care, folks.